I have never owned a Ford vehicle until this. I ordered this Maverick XL, which is the absolute base model X, XL Maverick, the base model. Cheapest you can order. No added additions at all. This is how it comes. This is the cheapest you can get one. Uh, the cheapest Maverick comes with the hybrid system. You've got a 2.5 liter gasoline engine coupled with a small electric engine. And they work together to give you the best mileage achievable in a Maverick. Uh, this is probably not the one that you'd want to buy if you're, uh, you're looking for speed and power. But don't let that fool you. This is plenty fast and plenty powerful for most anyone. I've owned this for probably about three days. And I'm, I'm pretty much in love with it so far. Uh, and barring anything catastrophic happening, I can't see that changing. Um, I'm a lifelong Chevrolet guy. Uh, in the last three years, I owned a Honda Ridgeline, which I absolutely loved that truck. Before that, I owned an Avalanche 2009, which I loved. And I've owned S10s and full-size Chevy trucks in the past. I've even owned a 2008 Nissan Titan. Uh, and I loved all those trucks. This truck, why did I order this truck? Coming from a Honda Ridgeline, and I had a nice Honda Ridgeline. I had the RTLE, the 2019 RTLE. Just one step below the Black Edition, which the Black Edition, really, all it is an, is an appearance package with cooled seats in addition to the heated seats that the RTLE gets. So I had a top-of-the-line RTLE. It just wasn't blacked out, and it didn't have the cooled seats, but it was nice. Leather, moonroof, all the, the crash avoidance system stuff. I love that truck. And I'll tell anybody, I love that truck. Uh, things I'll miss, the swing-out tailgate and the 50-plus gallon trunk in the bed of the truck. The Honda Ridgeline is a wonderful vehicle if you're not working. It, it's, you know, I wouldn't call it a work truck. I wouldn't call, this is not a work truck. I think this is great for fleets and probably some companies that use small trucks and they're not hauling a lot of stuff. This is probably a great work vehicle for companies like that. But, you know, is this a construction site truck? No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, but I came from a Honda Ridgeline. I loved that truck. It was really too nice. That's it. It was too nice a truck. This is a nice truck, but it's not overly appointed like the Honda Ridgeline. The Honda Ridgeline is a very nice truck. It was fast, 300 horsepower, all-wheel drive. It was quick. It was fast. It got decent gas mileage, you know, long trips, 28 miles per gallon religiously. Short trips around town, religiously 22 to 24 miles per gallon. Not bad for a, a four-door, very nice uh, truck with a small bed. I wanted this for gas mileage. And I also wanted the comp compactness that this offers, okay? I wanted something more along the lines of what an S10, the size-wise, an S10 back in the 80s. I love that size. I wanted to get back to a small truck. 
it's very hard to get back to a small truck nowadays. This is this is about the small truck today. And even then it's got four doors. And the bed's small. I don't work out of my truck. I haul garbage off every once in a while. I might want to haul a four by eight sheet of plywood every once in a while. So I researched this truck. And because I was coming from a Honda Ridgeline, a unibody truck, that doesn't bother me. I don't need a frame on build. Uh, I wanted the ride that a vehicle like this offers, and I wanted gas mileage. And this is a great combina combination, like $24,000. Uh, and you've got, you get to dip your feet into the uh, hybrid market. Get great gas mileage. This truck right here lists 38 miles per gallon on the highway, 42 in the city. This actually gets better mileage in the city than it does on the highway, which is kind of uncommon. I mean, or it's uncommon in a gasoline engine, but for the hybrid system, I mean, you know, stop and go traffic. This pretty much loves that. It regenerates itself. It recharges itself. So this is great. If you're commuting and you've got a little bit of city driving, this is great. If you've got a lot of city driving, this is great. Oh, by the way, never mind my Fieros. This is my 3800 swapped Fiero that's going to Pontiac, Michigan later this year. If I get the body all on it. So anyway, this truck, I'm loving this truck. Uh, what it's not, it's not a big truck. The inside is, a, is not voluminous and I'm okay with that. Some people say, is it cramped? Absolutely not. Uh, four, even maybe five people, small person in the middle in the back, plenty of room. I don't think it's cramped at all. I think it's compact. I love the fact that sitting in the driver's seat, everything is reachable. In my Honda, it had it, it had plenty of space, but things were just some things were not as easily reachable as this truck. I mean, sitting in the driver's seat of this truck. The screen, you can touch it quickly. Everything is within reach. I mean, I can just barely lean over and I can open this door. I love that. I love it. Um, I love the color, the cactus gray. I even love the steelies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run those tires bald before I get new wheels. If I get new wheels, I love them. Uh, I like the plastic cladding on the bottom. I do. Uh, I hated the plastic cladding on the first gen avalanches. But here, it's minimal. And it's where it needs to be. Um, you've got a small bed. But it's a very useful bed. Now, these areas right here. That will be taken out. On both sides, I have actual Ford Cubbies that go in that place. And they're very deep-pocketed compartments that go there with a door. Very cheap, like 84 bucks for two of them from a dealership. I just, I'm just i adding stuff to this that I didn't order. I didn't get the top-of-the-line one. I didn't even get a sliding rear window because I don't care. I didn't get a sunroof. Because I don't want that, I don't want that possibility of another entry point of water. I have old Pontiac Fierros with a sunroof if I want to drive one with a sunroof. Uh, the bed, I didn't even get it lined. I'm going to buy a $170 kit off of uh, Amazon and I'm going to do this myself. Uh, the tailgate, super useful. It can be using that cord right there, moving that attachment up here will get you a slightly inclined tailgate rest. 
And then a, a four by eight sheet of plywood will sit on top of your wheel wells and rest right on this. It's pretty well thought out. You even have these little caps which tell you, hey, there's power behind here. If you want to hook something in here, you can actually wire yourself a plug in there. You can see here there's provisions for like a, a, a uni strut or a tie down cargo system. The provisions are already there. Threaded holes, threaded inserts are already there. But it has tie downs. I'm telling you, for 90% of the people out there, this base model has everything. Everything you would need and most everything you would want. And how does it drive? It drives, it drives great. I'm coming from a Honda Ridgeline with ha which had a great drive. No knock in the Honda Ridgeline. It drove amazingly. Okay, it handled super well. It was quick. It, it had a soft ride. But for almost half the price, this thing right here rides amazingly. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. I've, I've added seat covers. The Ford Maverick comes with cloth seats. They're very nice. They're very nice. They seem to be very sturdy cloth seats. Okay? You can't even get factory leather on a Maverick. It is an economical truck. It's not made to be luxurious. But you, you can't even get real leather on the top-of-the-line Maverick. If you order the top-of-the-line upholstery, it's vegan, safe leather, which is not leather. These are Mabit, I believe is the name, seat covers off Amazon. They are an amazing fit. They look amazing. I put them on this morning in probably like an hour. Okay? And they're amazing. They feel great. They look amazing. They fit great. 300 bucks seat covers i mean i buy accessories to hopefully increase the longevity of the vehicle knock off weather techs smart liner they fit amazing they're like 129 bucks for a set front and rear i love them um bought this little tray for like i don't know 20 bucks or something it sits on top and just kind of gives you a deeper place to put things this screen it's a it it's not a huge screen it's not huge it's it's like a small tablet but it's it's more than it's more than i need uh I really love this truck so far. Um, and like I said, I researched. I kind of knew what I wanted. I wanted a cheap, economical truck. I researched the hybrid drive. So I knew I wanted that. But beyond that, that's pretty much it. I mean, when I took possession of the truck a couple of days ago, I honestly didn't even know that I got keyless entry key fobs or whatever you know i honestly thought all i was going to get would be a metal key i thought i'd just get a metal key but i mean i've got keyless entry and all this stuff you know it comes standard power windows power door locks air conditioning you know i can down i've downloaded an app on my phone I can start this thing from my phone. I can unlock this thing from my phone. This is a $24,000 vehicle. Will it last? I don't know. But at that kind of price, I can buy the 10-year bumper-to-bumper extended warranty. I mean, the battery hybrid system is a 10-year warranty. 
I've never had a hybrid. This is a good way to start. But I'm, I'm blown away by what you can get for $24,000. And there's those seat covers. 300 bucks. Well worth it to protect the cloth. Uh, I bought, I know I've got a bug, bug shield in the basement to put on it. I've got mud flaps uh, to put on it. Eventually, I'll probably lower this thing. My Honda Ridgeline, I had a two inch front, three inch drop on it. And I loved it because it made it even easier to get into. Dropping this, you know, get rid of some of that space there, there in the wheel wells. But it also make it even easier to get into. And I love the seating. The seating in this. The seats feel amazing. I'm very impressed. It's a very upright seating position. Good visibility out the the windshield. I'm really, I'm I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm telling you, if unless this thing goes south really quickly in a catastrophic way. I love this truck. Uh, I love this truck. I think you've got a 1,500 pound capacity uh, in the bed payload. You can tow like 2,000 pounds with the hybrid. Uh, of course, if you get up to just the gasoline only engine, it comes with a turbo and it'll do more. I don't need more. Uh, I can put a high to hitch right in that area right there. Uh, for like a couple hundred dollars. The backup camera is amazing. It's a $24,000 vehicle. I've been in plastic injection molding industry for like 27 years. And if you knew all the things that go into manufacturing a vehicle, I just know like the plastics components part of it. But if you had an understanding of all that goes into building a vehicle that would last even 100,000 miles, you would be amazed that you can buy such a complete and well-rounded vehicle for $24,000. And like I said, again, I loved my Chevy Avalanche. It was big. It was 18 miles to a gallon, maybe sometimes 17. It would fly. It rode like a Cadillac. Uh, I loved it. Not really much I'd say negative about it. You know, it's what do you want in a truck? You know, at some point I chose, hey, I don't need something so big. A little bit better gas mileage. I moved to a Ridgeline. Honda Ridgeline. Honda's a great car manufacturer. Vehicle manufacturer. That was a great vehicle. I moved to it to get better gas mileage and have a little bit smaller vehicle. Pretty much the exact reason I'm moving from the Honda Ridgeline to this. And really, I'm, I'm gushing about this vehicle. Uh, and that's my initial. I don't even have a, I have like 90 miles on this vehicle so far. I mean, in a week or two, I could hate this thing. But I swear I can't see that happening. Unless I have a catastrophic failure of some kind. I can't see it happening. It's everything I hoped it would have been. I, I, I can't say enough about it. The electric, the electric hybrid system seems to work. Again, I'm not... This is the first electric hybrid vehicle I've ever owned. It's seamless to me. Um, I let my dad drive it yesterday. He's a lifelong mechanic, a Chevy, a Chevy guy. I let him drive it and he drove it just like he would a normal truck. And he got 57 miles per gallon average on a little 14 mile trip that we took. But he drove it like a regular truck. He didn't, he didn't know the difference. He couldn't tell the difference. It's that good. This truck was bought from one of the nation's top 
Ford dealerships here in Morrison, Tennessee, Riddick Brown. Super amazed. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm I know there's people out there that have nitpicks. I don't have any nitpicks yet. Of course, I've only had it three days. Uh, I mean, if anything, I had lowered expectations, and this is exceeding my lowered expectations. Because I, I can't believe I got this much vehicle for $24,000. So, I ordered in September of 22 and I received it the end of May 23. All I can say is so far, <laughs> it was worth the wait. I mean, yeah, it's not a fast truck by any means, but it's, it's quick. I mean, I'm surprised it's quick, and it's still fast. It's not... It's not what I expected. It's more than I ex could have expected. You know, if I want to go fast, I'll, I'll get in one of my Fieros. I mean, this one's got a supercharged 3,800 engine. So, I mean, if I want to be quick and fast, I've got this. This is, <laughs> if utilitarian can be uttered in a, in admiration, this is utilitarian. Uh, for a young family, uh, starting out, maybe having a kid or two, this is great. This is great. Anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've only had it like three days, but you know, over the last eight or nine months, I, I've, I've watched lots of videos. I've, lo I've heard lots of critiques. I've heard lots of gripes. This is an amazing little truck. Again, if it doesn't fail catastrophically, this is an amazing truck. This would be an amazing truck at, at $30,000. At thirty one, probably. It's all what you want. Uh, you know, you've got to decide what you're happy with. I'm digging it. And I'm thinking in the future, I'll drop it down a couple inches in the front, maybe three in the rear, get it a little bit lower to the ground. But there's not a lot more left to do. It's just a good looking little truck. Drives well and it handles well. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, if you got any questions, you can ask me. Like I said, I've only owned it a few days, but I. I, I've done my homework on these trucks. So, any comments you want to make, that's fine. But, yeah. Loving the Maverick XL hybrid. The base model. Cheapest you can get. Right here. Right here. 